You know, somebody once told me that, that life is just a bone chip. Well, that just may be true, because to me a cherry is twice as sweet, as long as I am with you.
mic check, one, two, one, two. You're now listening to the sounds of the OG Lou. Sunday night on this OG flight, where we low ride, switch from left to right. Where we make the homies groove like DJ Quick, but make teardrops fall like OG Slick, Rick James. Smoking on that Mary Jane while we listen to the oldies at G Lou playing. I'm just saying, it's a G Lou show. Every Sunday night, you know we just might go to a place that you've never been. Never been. Only way that you can go is if you tell a friend. But you gotta tune in right now, cause we live on there. Like the staple singers, I'll take you there. It's a stone cold. To get you right in the mood And it's all being brought to you now by G. Lou So kick off your shoes and relax your feet Spark a L, turn your cell up and roll with me Call 914-803-4001 Press 1, then speak You're now tuned in to G. Lou Lee On a Sunday night, it's only right you be Ha <laughs> OG Sundays The G. Lou Show OG, you know I'm just inviting you to Stay a while. The G Lu Show. OG Sundays. 7 to 9 p.m. Pacific. 10 to 12 Eastern. Every Sunday night. No right or old. Blog Talk Radio. You know. Rider Odies, I am your host with the most G Lou. Shout out to Queen Jean who's still on vacation, uh, having a great time in beautiful Las Vegas, creating great memories with the family. Shout out to her, shout out to Hanks the Gaysa. And I'm here with cousin, my favorite cousin, Marcy. She'll be joining me in one one second. Um, let me give a shout out to our sponsors before we get started. Shout out to BTP Media Group. Shout out to BTP Media Group, Jeff Kwan and the Kwan Glomerant out of the Bay Area. Follow them on all media social media sites. BTP Media Group. Also, um, 93.point Tweed FM Ism. The Tweed Cadillac Show on Thursday nights. Blog Talk Radio, 7 to 9 p.m. Pacific. Also, Dee Dee Harrison, the author, publisher, producer. Check out her books on Amazon. Also, Noah Armani Candles, our newest sponsor. Noah Armani Candles. Best candles out there on the market. They're safe. Uh, you know, free of all the hallucinogens and bullshit that you don't need in, in candles for your house to be safe and healthy. So shout out to NoramaniCandles.com. Follow the website. Also follow them on IG, Noramani Candles. Also Street Level Clothing for the OG golf hats. That is StreetLevelClothing.com and the G. Lou Show YouTube channel. Go go to our channel. Uh, subscribe over there on YouTube. We've got great content, interviews. Uh, lady show and tonight after this show we have the oldies rule forever sundays the official after show of this right here so tune in with that being said let me bring in my cousin my favorite cousin miss marcy is here people cuz oh what it do what it do what it do cuz oh i am here i am here we're gonna mic check one two one two for the people's one time make sure those levels are right on this og sundays that was a fresh little drop i like what you said about Nora money candle you said without all that bull stuff you don't want right <laughs> jeez right. louise got my iced coffee ready for this ride shout out to my queen cousin that's my favorite cousin He's like, well, i'm real favorite cousin. that's my favorite cousin the queen right there but we're not supposed to have favorites we miss you so much um but i know you're making those priceless yeah. memories and you hit us up every once in a while with those beautiful flicks gosh so gorgeous yes, yes. yeah 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 shout so shout queen. out to everybody out there listening and um anybody that's having a birthday We've entered a new month, fam. We're already in May. It's the seventh. I got two Ain't sisters, that one today and one tomorrow. Okay, I got two birthdays oh, wow. in a row. Happy, happy, birthday, happy birthday, Michelle. Happy birthday, Shanae. Yes, yes. And anybody out there celebrating? Wow, it's a beautiful thing, you know, when you're able. We to... already in the fifth month. We already yes, yes. So it's almost. About to be turn up time for the kid too, because next month is yeah. cousin Marcy time again. I'm like, Uh-oh. dang. Uh-oh. Lord have mercy. June, June yeah. what, Cuzzo? 
we um we on June 29th. Ooh, and we don't okay. say the year, but yeah, I'm gonna end it. I'm gonna end of the month, June Cancer. Is that Gemini or are you just after Gemini? Oh no, 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 no. That's Cancer. Mm-mm. No Cancer. Okay, okay. All right. She <laughs> said no, no, no. I had to make sure. Cancer. I had to make sure because my of... name is Larry. Okay. Spread <laughs> love. Okay. That's right. <laughs> That's, That's right. right. I had to check. That's right. I hope your week went well. Uh, Friday, so sorry I wasn't here for the people, but you know, God is certainly, He's just awesome. So I got that business, you know, taken right. care of. Everything but good. Um, Everything Cinco de Mayo went up. Cinco, did Cinco de Mayo go up? Yes, it I didn't have one look at tequila myself. I was like, oh, dang. But, it, but it's all good. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's all good. Mm-hmm. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. Right, fam? Yes, yes, yes. And you that's got that business to take care of, too, so that's all good, too, right? That's it. Excellent. To yes. He's all good. Alrighty, all right. He's good all the time. I'm so happy, and I'm just thrilled. And and then there's going to be a part two with that, but I might get a little more in-depth with the people on that because it's going to be a new venture um, mm. <clears throat> that I might be trying to take as well. I'm always filling my plate with stuff I feel like I can't do enough so it's just like I put some positive things you know coming and I'm looking forward to so second half right, of my right. 2023 will be right just don't stop that moving part. you know that you know? part right there <laughs> preach that's right I can't do that the people Mark. gonna be mad they're gonna be like shut up Marcy no I'm kidding <laughs> Nah, keep spreading you that good, that good, um, good vibes, good energy. They spread. Maybe someone else will catch it. You know what I mean? You know, it's so funny. That that's that's so true. And it might be like one Decepticon in the in the group. Um, I had an interesting experience with that. You know, just last night I had five minutes to spend um, with my sister, the birthday girl. But you just always when you just come in and. You could light up a room, you know, and that's right, right. That's how I, you know, and I'm a queen that's like you, that Marcy. too. So, yeah, like we're we're like that. So it it yeah. it feels good. You always just have to shine on, you know. Just that's it. You just gotta keep shining on. And I don't know what I'm gonna talk about today because the streets is on fire this week, child. The, the R and B kings, they you might they need fighting, two minutes they falling of off the stage like then they keep fighting. I'm like, okay, we. I still ain't seen the actual week. footage. I still did not see well, no was, actual footage. So it is some footage it's out two there. Two or three videos now. Okay. Because he he didn't got into okay. it. I've been off the. You know, with somebody I've been else. Off the and, okay. Yeah, and then a, a slur got crowned queen. I don't know if they really crowned that lady queen. I said, get the frick out of here. They really going to let that mm. lady be queen? But we don't live over there. Ain't that the, wow. that's like the most trifling and disgusting ever since Princess Diana passed away? I'm, that's a mess. Ugh. Mm. Gross. Wow. So you may need two minutes. You may need two minutes a day then. <sighs> Child, I might need three minutes because this is a mess. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. We got the Marcy I'm Minutes. Ready when you are. Marcy Minutes. <laughs> right? We got the Marcy oh, minutes, minutes coming up. Oh, you did so stay stuff. tuned, people. Yeah, <laughs> stay tuned. Oh man, Marcy's minutes coming shortly. Anyone want to call in? The phone lines is open. They the same as they always been. Nine one four eight zero three four zero zero one. You want to uh, speak? Press one, and we will gladly let you speak. Toss and talk right. back. You dig? G little cousin Marcy up in here, and this is OG Sunday. Just Let's get to some, right. and we'll be back in a flash. Let's go, Marcy. Let's go.
What's happening, kings and queens? This is Queen Jean grooving with you on a Sunday afternoon on the G. Lou Show with my guys, G. Lou, Big Saucy, and Big Hank the Gangster. Sit back and cruise with us, baby. Take a ride. Feel the vibe as we pull oldies from the crates. Let's roll.
Hi, this is Kira from Normani Candles. Shop with us for 100% non-toxic soy wax candles and wax melts, plus room sprays. We're a family-owned business based in SoCal with the mission to deliver clean, non-toxic candle products. Check us out on all social platforms at Normani Candles, and don't forget to shop our website, normanicandles.com. <laughs>
OG Sundays, Fab and Slope Rider Oates. Don't forget at the top of the hour, we got Marcy's Minutes. You don't want to miss that. And also want to give a shout out to the mothers out there. I know next Sunday is Mother's Day. So I want to give you a special shout out now from G Lil to all the beautiful mothers out there. Happy Mother's Day from the G Lil Show. We love you.
Yo, this is Marcus T from Timex Social Club, and you're listening to the G Lou Show.
Fucking low riders.
We have several um, businesses that we like to go ahead and give props to on the GLU show. So just make sure if you want to um, contribute to them by purchasing items, we always mention them. You have Nora Money Candles, you have Fun Diggity Funnel Cakes. And then for those that might be in need, don't forget about Sylvia Nunn Angels, where she does her food giveaways every week, 200 North Long Beach Boulevard in Compton, California, okay? And those things are also posted on their website, <clears throat> so sorry, Gila website, and you can also see it on the banner when you listen to the Gilu shows on the Blog Talk Radio, okay, on the internet, so you can see it on the banner if you missed it. Alrighty, let's get to it, y'all. Interesting story I ran across uh, today. It said the U.S. Surgeon General finds loneliness is as deadly as smoking up to 15 cigarettes a day. When this first crossed my eye, I thought, is the Surgeon General a woman? But no, it's a man. You can go ahead and get more of that at the AssociatedPress.com. Mozzie was released on May the 4th. Mozzie is a Bay Area rapper who was incarcerated, I think it was like two years ago, but he has been released according to news reports. In other hip-hop news, Proz denies being an FBI informant. Well, sir, the court said otherwise, you should have went to trial. In R&B news, Genuine fell off the stage at the Lovers and Friends performance and almost knocked over the sign language interpreter. Streets have no love, Genuine, but I see you got on up and you were on to perform again. Chris Brown was caught on camera in yet another confrontation. This apparently just the day after his dust up with R&B singer Usher. New footage circulating on TMZ online appears to show Chris aggressively trying to reach somebody across from him in what looks like to be the backstage area of a venue. This, according to several blog sites, took place during Missy Elliott's set Saturday night in Vegas at the Lovers and Friends show. Now, seems cooler heads prevailed, and as far as his run-in with Usher, he is unbothered by the alleged altercation with Chris Brown. Both went on to perform last night and today. Luckily, despite the apparent drama behind the scenes, it sounds like Lovers and Friends was a success and went off without a hitch. And if nobody comments on this thing further, perhaps it's safe to assume they've dealt with it privately and are moving on. Here's hoping that actually the case, because Chris and Usher are known to be boys. Hmm, sound like boys that used to partake in things, but now one of them has quit and one just still may be a hothead. Allegedly, allegedly. Moving on now to sports. Lakers lead the Western Conference semifinals 2-1 to one against the Golden State Warriors as of last night. The Celtics and 76ers are now tied in the Eastern Conference semifinals. The 76ers did pull off a win in OT today, and James Harden had the game winner. He also had 42 points in the game for win. Series tied 2-2. Two to two. Playoff mode, follow the NBA on Twitter. I will be following that because, of course, that is my team, the Celtics. Oh, for all your entertainment, sports, and premium blog news from OG Sundays to Fabulous Flashback Fridays, this has been Mercy's Minute. G. Lou, back to you. Yeah, yay. Hold on, hold on. Uh, Our second unit was struggling for much of the year. You shift him into there. A lot of these things that we were working on. Hello, hello. G. Lou. There he is. Thanks for cracking with with hey, cracking hey. with baby. Marcy, cousin Marcy, man, that was off hey. the chain, man. Man, this you doing sports? You, you doing sports and videos? Man, you doing all the shit, nigga. What's cracking, Yeah, That's what I'm talking about, man. Tell me your business, That's right, man. Tell me your business. Tell me your business. That's right, man. thank That's you. Marcy, do G. Lou, what's the deal, baby? How you living, man? What it do, big homie? I'm good, bro. Good to see you and hear you, bro. You all right? Come on, man. It's always good to hear y'all, man. You know how it go, man. Motherfuckers get caught up in so much shit out here, man. And I think yeah. I just, you know, I just be moving and doing a lot, man. But I ain't, come on, man. This is my home, man, right here, man. Right, I miss right. y'all, man. Let's keep going right. what we're doing, cuz. I got your back 100,021 times, nigga. You know I got you, G. Lou. <laughs> I got my you, man, cousin Mark. My man. Cousin Mark, with them niggas be fucking with you. Say, man, let me go get my big cousin, big Hank, and fuck one of you niggas up. <laughs> <laughs> let me get one of my, get my big cousin and fuck one of you niggas up, man. And them niggas are bad. They got their back down, okay. cousin Mark. I promise That's you. That's right. We I push B. We push B. 
peace. We'll arrange yes, your no peace. We want no peace. Yes, Use my name when you need it. Use my name when you need it, and I got you, man. I got oh, you. that's so nice. Much love, much love, man. Much we love. We know you still doing it, man. I see you popping. Yes, if you ain't, if you ain't skipped a beat, man. So I'm proud of you, yeah. bro. Keep doing your thing, man. Keep doing your thug tizzle, man. I'm here, man. I'm here. Let's rock. You already know that. Take you already know that, Hanks, Hanks. Hey, hey, before we go, Hank. You know what I mean? What's yeah. going on? How was church today? Give us an update on church and everything good. Give man, us the word. Out, man. It's, it's a blessing that you said that because, listen, man, I taught, I taught the Sunday school lesson this morning. It was about the uh, Pentecost. And the Pentecost is the 50 day. The 50, it's 50 days. It's seven, it's seven weeks in a day. Okay? Right. That's the 50th. And, the, and, and Jesus told the disciples which at that time was up to 120. See, everybody thought it was only 11 or 12 of them. No, it was 120 of them. He, 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 what he did was he, he uh, discipled another 70, and then it was also 40 women that hung with him at all times. Because I, I, I did my research mm. on this, right? So it was 120 right. that got, that the, uh, remember when it was like a Russian, it sounded like a mighty Russian wind. That right. came in there and landed on them, and then they had the uh, the tongues of uh, fire that was dancing on their heads. Now, mm-hmm. all of that was all of that was a vision. It wasn't it wasn't a Russian mighty wind. It was sounded like a Russian Russian mighty wind, but it wasn't no trees blowing. It wasn't no leaves blowing. Nobody hair blew off their head. None of that. But it sounded right. like that. Okay. And so, uh, and then when the and when the t- when the fire was dancing on their heads. It was a vision also. It was it was uh the uh the uh the tongues was um cat dog, it's called divided. Divided tongue. Uh anyway, anyway, the tongues was divided. I forgot the name of it, but the tongues that was dancing here was divided and it looked like it was on fire, but nobody hair caught on fire, none of that, but it, it landed on their heads and it danced on top of their heads and they was able to see they was able to speak in different languages. It wasn't tongues. It wasn't no babbling and you know saying just saying anything. They heard they they heard right. their own languages from from the from Medes, from Latin, from Spanish. They were like, man, how do these Gal- Galileans speaking in Spanish and speaking in Latin? That's because God gave them for that, that that tongue, man, that that double mm. that double tongue, and they could speak anything, man. So that's the lesson I taught on today. But it's all about this, the the Holy Spirit that came down on them, man, and it made them. Change and, and and change the whole world, and they uh, God had told him. He said, "Man, y'all y'all seen stuff that other people wanted to see, that the other prophets and kings wanted to see, but they didn't get to see. Y'all heard stuff that they that they wanted to hear, that but they didn't get to hear. But y'all was a special. They were special, man. They walk they walk with Jesus. So you know they see right. special stuff. They and is that the same stuff. day of Pentecost that that they used to defend like speaking in tongues, if I remember correctly?" Yeah, there you go. You right on it. Yeah. You right on it. Yeah, it I wasn't, remember it that. Wasn't, it wasn't just tongues. It wasn't just tongues. That they were speaking. Right. They spoke languages, okay? Because the mm-hmm. people from Media, the people from Latin, the people from Greek, because they came from everywhere, and they said, well, how are we hearing our own languages from these Galileans? And they don't. They never went to school right. for this stuff, you know what I'm saying? And so one lady said, oh, them niggas, they drunk. You know what I'm saying? That's what she said. She said, they drunk. <laughs> and then Peter said, no. <laughs> She, he, didn't, he didn't say no, bitch, but he said, no, bro, we ain't drunk. It's too early in the morning. It's too early in the morning. It's only 9 that. o'clock. He might have said It's that. only 9 o'clock. Now, if you catch it about 3 or 5 or 4 or 6, then, yeah, we might be tipsy. But right now, it's too early. It's too right. early, so we're not drunk. Liquor store ain't open. We're not drunk. Liquor store ain't even Man, open. listen. Come on, man, listen, man. Because that, that's my favorite verse my little brother showed me. Right. So my little brother said, let me tell you how my little brother got me. To read the Bible. This is like I was going in out the pen. He was like, "Listen here, bro." He like, "Look, I ain't never read in the Bible where you can't smoke weed." He said, "If you find it, let me know." So I started reading the Bible. I started trying to find out. I said, "Nigga, you right? Shit, it ain't nowhere that it don't say that." <laughs> and so then I read this verse where Peter said, "When the lady said, y'all must be drunk," and Peter said, "No, we're not drunk. It's only three o'clock, and it's only, you know, it's, it's only it's the third hour. That means it's nine o'clock in the morning." And he said, right. no, we don't drink at 9 o'clock in the morning. But if, he didn't say that, but he like that's what he said, really. He like, no, it's right. too early. It's too early. It's only 9 o'clock. Now, if you catch it about 6, we might be tipsy. But today, no, right. we only it's only 9 o'clock. 
So, man, that's my favorite verse in the Bible. That let me know I can do what I want to not do what I want to do, but I ain't the only one that did it. That's what right, I'm saying. Right. Okay, right. so if Peter could do it, I could do it. If, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I ain't tripping, man. I don't knock it's myself a lot in the going head. On in the Bible. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's a, lot going, it's a lot of good stories. Like, real deal. Real, you could parallel real them deal. to today's life with, like, street on, stuff, man. all kind of it. stuff. So oh, we always thank you pa- when you tell us what you talked about. Appreciate it, man. My pastor, my pastor preaching on mental health in the Bible, man. He's saying that. Uh, he said David had David was an opportunist, uh, opportunist. You know what I'm saying? He like he'd take advantage of you if you if you giving it up, he'd get you. If you I got if I got to kill my homeboy, I got to do that too. You dig what I'm saying? Mm. And Saul was Saul was in depression. He had David used to come play the horn for him so he could come up out of the depression. And it's it just all of them had some kind of problem. Uh, Elijah Elijah ran from the brawl, but he had just killed 450 of. Uh, Fake, uh, right. Like you know real deal. And then he Jezebel, Jezebel, Jezebel said, "I'm gonna do you just like you did them." He said, "That nigga took off running." And like, did you just kill 450 people? And now you gonna run from the bro? What's wrong with you, boy? So it's just, you know, wow. <laughs> hey, the Bible is a trip, man. The Bible is a trip, man. And, and so what about reading, David like, killing Bathsheba's husband? That's it. That's he what I just wanted that thing too. Like, I what was said, that about? My, my pastor, he's an opportunist. He's like, man, if I got to kill you to get your broad, then that's what I got to do. I'm gonna take. I got the opportunity to do it. I'm yeah. big. I can do that. I can take you out and take your girl. So you know, wow. just that's and that ain't right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You got to have a no. mental problem to do that. And it ain't. It ain't like you was crazy. You was just plotting and planning and doing all that shit. So you got to figure it out, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to. It's, it's some beautiful stories in the Bible, man. Just keep on reading, y'all. And the Bible is real. It's true. Trust me on that. Yeah. For yes, sure. Sir. For sure. That poor Thanks for y'all. Mr. Norman. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm with it. That's right. I'm with it. Yes, sir. I knew I'm with you were going to bring it, too. You already know I got you. I got you. Shout out to Miss. Shout out to Mrs. Norman, too. Send our love. Yeah. For yeah, sure. man. She back. She back up in there with me. This is her first day back, man. She said she was going to wait till uh, the beginning of uh, uh, May and start back right. going with me. So she been gone for a year because her mom was here. Right, and, uh, right. And now her mom back in the rehabilitation center. So now she can kind of get her stuff back together. So we were working. It's going down, man. God watching over us, okay. man. He's doing his thing in our lives. And uh, yes, I, I can't complain about nothing, man. I can't co- I right. promise you, G. Lou. I promise you, I can't right. complain about that. You keep watching. I already know. Me, All Jesus praise is real, do. right? Jesus man, is real. Man, that's what he is. You know I know it. Jesus is real. Yeah. Love you, homie. That poor. That's yeah, real. man. My Jesus is real, man. I'm going to tell you what he brought me through. Very cool. Uh-huh. Yeah. Good night, man. Jesus uh-huh. is cool. Jesus is real. Then stupid the grass, too. I used to be the dude walking around with the attitude. Now, I'm going to keep it real. Tell you just what he brought me through. Been shot five times and they thought they had got me too. Now I can take you back to my days on Finger Roller. When I had him on the streets, man, I had him on the corner. Came up and bought a house and I moved out to Corona. From the package I was slinging all the way to Arizona. Now Jesus is real, he done brought me through it all. And struck a couple lows, I done took a couple balls. They even hit the pen, me and mother through them halls. And just to get the towel, I had to walk you through the fall. Now I can tell you more and it's all gonna be real. The only way I'm here is, man, I had to take the deal. Now I can take my time and I can tell you how I feel. My Jesus is the only way I got to keep it real. Jesus is real. Jesus is real. Attempt to suicide. It didn't work. Then it had to be a reason because his grace gave me work. I done been on my deathbed. Gunshots couldn't see the devil coming because my mind's on rock. On my way to doing life, blew a bag and a murder. Seen the tears in my baby's eyes. She was hurt. So I got on my face and begging God for his favor. I heard the homies laughing, so I prayed with my neighbor. I done enough dirt in the streets, and I don't really want to deal with the soul. Did I read Ricky Harris said it all one night at the church? Me and Hank both smiled, not knowing it was her. I was in touch.
untouchable. I stay fitted to get it. Yeah, like he clear Huxtable. Cruising down the street in my six folk. I walk the edge of the razor in pursuit of my dough. I was ruthless. I kept it rocking to the right side. My son had the east, so ain't that thing I won't try. Lifestyle I lived, it led to prison and back. I was feeling persecuted, yeah, like John the Baptist. My mama used to ask me, boy, when you go quit it? At the same time, praying for me, hoping I get it. My soul was heavy burdened, I was showed off faith. One night I heard the voice of God and I saw his son's face. So I prayed for myself and got stronger than the Lord. And now I'll reap a better harvest, way bigger than before. I wear the armor of the Father, ain't no need for a gun. Cause I'm protected by the blood, cause now I'm walking with his son. What's up, Big Hank? Man, I can't call you. What's happening with your homie? Thank you. Man, you remember the testimony night? Man, that night with Ricky Harris at that church? Man, that's still on man, my mind. Heavy, man. That blessed me, homie. When I seen y'all pull off, homie, I was just like, man, it, 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 it just seemed like you were an angel already, man. You, you were. Said God is real. That's what he did say, God, God is real. real. Yeah. Hey, G. Lou, Jay Quinn, Jay Quinn, Jay Quinn, Jay Quinn, Jay Quinn, it's Latanya Ward, a.k.a. Big Fuck Off, from Los Angeles, Jungle, California, reaching out to show love and to remind you all to follow me on Instagram. My personal page is Powerful as a Motherfucker, spelled P-O-W-E-R-F-U-L dot as A-S underscore A underscore M-U-T-H-A-F-U-C-K-A. And my dessert business page is Filthy Rich Banana Pudding, spelled the correct way, F-I-L-T-H-Y-R-I-C-H-B-A-N-A-N-A-P-U-D-D-I-N-G. Thanks for the support. I'm 
Willie. 
Stone Cold Freak. I just realized that all his songs, like I was even looking up songs for him earlier to play, that all his songs is t- talking about freaking something. Boy, that boy was a Stone Cold Freak. Shout out to the homie Leon, man. OG Sunday's Fabulous Slow Rider. <laughs> Playing the best mix of smooth R&B, OD, soul, and funk. Blog Talk Radio's number one Sunday night program. The G. Lu Show presents OG Sunday's fabulous lowrider OD. Broadcasting live online every Sunday from 7 to 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and 10 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. Call 914-803-4001 with your request. The G. Lu Show OG Sunday. Thanks to sponsors BTP Media, 93.2 FM, D.D. Harrison, and One World Magazine. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, OG Sunday's Fabulous Lowrider ODs. Here's your host, G. Lu, in 5, 4, 3, 2, Let's go. 
Yes, sir. Hey, what we gonna do? Yes, sir. Classic off the request line. Shout out to everyone tuning in across the world, boys and girls. You're tuned in to the G. Lou Show, Fabulous Slow Rider Oldies with G. Lou, Cousin Marcy, and my big homie, Hank, to the gangster. G. Hank, what's going on with you, Cousin Marcy? Yeah, yeah. Hey, man. It's all good, cuz. Hey, listen, man, I'm going to be at, uh, I'm going to be back at Roscoe's, man. They called me back, man. The, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the host, man, Lil Rob, he said, man, you, you packed that motherfucker out, man. You had the crowd rocking, man. Come on back and uh, wow. do what you do, man. So I'll be back up there, man, on the 18th. And my birthday is the 19th, so that's a cold little wow. lick, man. I'm going to celebrate. Wow. Look how God did it, man. Congratulations. Appreciate y'all, man. Yes, sir. Go up there and knock him out. Great. Knock him out the box, yes, big homie. You know, I'm going to knock out the box, man. I got some new you shit anyway, know. so it's going down. You got some <laughs> new content for him? Come on, you know I got it, man. You know, I'm going to knock him with something new, man. I'm going to tell him about how I had this fake heart attack, nigga. That's what they... Look, they diagnosed me. Remember I had the heart problem? Oh, they right. thought I had a heart attack, but they diagnosed me with angina. And if you look up angina, it's called... the. It's really called the fake heart attack. They do everything to you. Do all the heart, the pain, the knock you down, all that. They do everything to you but kill you. They don't kill you. Wow. They do everything else. They do everything wow. else, man. So that's what, they, that's what they diagnosed me with, man. And I promise you, man, I don't know... I, I promise Richard Pryor, Ricky Harris, they were telling the real, man, that shit right there... Um, if you ain't, if you think you be praying now, just think if you couldn't never, if you couldn't get no air, mm. nigga, you know how hard I was praying, nigga, I ain't never. Mm. When I be doing my little prayers now, I be like, nigga, that ain't nothing. I remember when I couldn't get no air, I talked to him for real. I was like, oh, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Rapha, Emmanuel, the Great Elohim, the Great El Shaddai, the Almighty God, Yahweh, help me, please, Lord. <laughs> nigga, wow. I was praying. Right. I prayed. I'm wow. talking about that's when you pray. If you can't get no air, man, you gonna. I promise you, you're going to pray different, man. You ain't going to pray them little prayers you praying now. You know, hallowed right. be thy name, uh, lay me down to sleep, <laughs> pray the Lord. No, <laughs> no, none of that. None of that. None of that. None of that. <laughs> none of that. Man. Praise them for the little things I'm all about the time. I'm talking, That's about a real, no joke. I'm talking about a real prayer. Not no prayer you practice. Not no prayer you thought about. This <laughs> comes straight from the heart. You're like, Lord, please, Jesus, help me. Please, I can't breathe, Lord, help me. Man, you be on your. I promise you, man. So just letting y'all know that's that's my some of my new content, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking right. about that that part, real man. stuff. So, yeah, wow, real shit that happened. Now, I, I, look, G. Lo, I'm gonna tell you and cousin Marcy. I, I yep. I've been doing comedy. I got I started doing comedy in 2013, 2014, right in there, right. Ricky Harris, my dude. He, he got me. He said, nigga, sh- do something for me. I did like five minutes. He said, nigga, you got this shit. And I'm going to tell y'all something, man. I'm going to tell you and D. Lou this. I ain't never, ever sat down and wrote a joke. Never. Mm-hmm. Nigga, all my shit is wow. real. All this is what I know off my head. And I just go. You hear me? Right. That's how kind of, that's kind of I know God is in it with me. He, he like, man, I told you to take your talent and use it. And that's what your talent is, man. So... He, I, he keep on blessing me and blessing me and blessing me. I never had no idea to do this, man, but God did. G. Lou, my poppers is burning up, so I gotta take them off. Uh oh. <laughs> do your thing, yeah, y'all, hear, y'all hear it going down? <laughs> y'all hear it going down? That's all right. Be perfect. safe. Oh, they perfect Just though. They perfect. They perfect. <laughs> they perfect, nigga. The ba- the jalapeno bacon poppers, nigga. The bacon jalapeno poppers. <laughs> oh shit. Hey, what's up, up in there? Hey, cuz, what's up? It's almost summertime. Everybody told me, everybody been talking to me about it, telling me to get it back cracking. I'm going to get it back cracking. Okay. I'm going to get okay. it back cracking, y'all. All right, man. Handle your, handle your, handle your, handle your, handle your scandal over there. Handle your scandal. We'll, we'll be right back. All right, cuz. All right, G. Cousin Marcy, G. Lou. That boy.
living in my hometown Niggas ain't tripping So I get to keep my chrome down And I be dipping around the spot Where the niggas pass with us Serving to the beans Bitches calling me Mr. Big Fun Snatching checks from your mama Making dollars, ho oh, dollar Constantly bringing drama huh. But I don't sweat it cool I come from where the best ride Ain't no punk where I'm from On that west side PA nigga, I live down with big nuts We're out of town motherfuckers Who they life on the cut But we ain't tripping fast that dipping It's gon' be alright Soon as I get fried tonight Yeah bitch, I got your hope But hope, I break your knees Full of dawn, Perry on And water for the feet It's dawn, Perry on It's a poke and fuck Just be like that sometimes It's dawn, Perry on It's a poke and fuck Just be like that sometimes It's dawn, Perry on It's a poke and fuck
Yes, sir. Shout out to Richard Pryor, man. Ricky Harris, man. All the Ricky great Harris. man. Yes. Fred Sanford. Uh, 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 Fred Sanford, real name, man. Red Fox. Red Fox. Red Fox. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, let me yes, ask you this. I, I'm glad you mentioned Rick, right? I never, I don't think I ever asked you this. We talked about Rick a lot. But what was your favorite? Because I want to ask two questions. First, what mm-hmm. would you think would have been his full potential? Do you think he he still hadn't reached it yet? And second, Man. which is the main question. But look, but second, the main question is, what was your favorite? Because he did so much already. What was your favorite yeah. favorite Ricky Harris like movie role part thing he did on okay. what whatever? What was your yeah. favorite shit? Yeah. Got you, man. Listen, man. He never, he didn't never reach his potential, cause it, it, it was, it wasn't like a surprise to Rick, but Rick didn't think he was gonna go where he went, and then he got where he was at. He like shit, man. I'm so, it was. It, he didn't never reach his potential, man. But he was on his way, okay, cause he was doing, right. a, he was doing some new shows, a Christmas show he did with uh, what's the bro, man? What's the bro, man? Uh, can't think of her name. Um. Some more. She be on everything. Who? Some more. No, she an older lady. She always be in all the all the movies. Can't think her name. Lil Nell. Anyway, no, not Lil Nell. No, 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 no. She a real actress. She really do acting. She was in what she was she she a real actress. <laughs> <laughs> <She was like, laughs> hey, hey, but listen, man. The funniest shit he did was on the 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 sit. Remember he was on the sitcom and he played uh Malvo. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Every, every, everybody loved Chris. Or everybody hate Chris. Whichever one, whichever one that was. But Malvo was the trip about Malvo. Malvo was a real nigga in our hood. It was a nigga named Malvo in our hood. And he used to oh, bogart wow. niggas and try to bully niggas like that. And so Rick took that nigga and took him all the way to the end, man. And uh, and then uh, remember when he How about did, movie? Uh, How about the movie role? About, here we go. Where he did the thing with Robert De Niro? Is it Robert De Niro yeah, or yeah, the nigga that yeah, played yeah. Scarface? He, yeah, he, he, he went head to head with that nigga in that movie. Uh, he, he. I'm, I'm, bad. I'm bad with you. It was he, name. homie. He, Who? homie. Spe- Who? He, he, he. he. That's it, cuz. He, come on, cuz. You're good. See, <laughs> I know the shit. I just can't remember the shit, man. So that shit when he went, he went head to head with Robert De Niro in that movie, cuz. And that nigga was, finished. He was right. ready to go. Right, and that's then, my uh, favorite too. My, my favorite joke from Cubs was this. <laughs> Cubs said, he like said he was in the they was in the hood. He was out there selling dope and shit. And the police pulled up and uh Rick ran up Rick ran a hide in the top in the tree. And the nigga that he was selling dope with, he ran somewhere else, but the police caught Cubs. And as they handcuffed Cubs was walking him down the street, Cubs said Hey, Rick, come on down, nigga, they got us. <laughs> Rick said, no, nigga, they got you. They don't got me. <laughs> nigga said, <laughs> Rick said, nigga, come on down, come on, they got us. Nigga, no, they don't got us. Nigga, they got you, nigga. That shit was hilarious to me, because that's the funniest shit I ever heard about life. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> nigga said he was hiding up in the tree, and the nigga said, come on down, Rick, because they got us. <laughs> nigga said, What? <laughs> they ain't got oh, us. They got that shit was hilarious, wow. man. That was the funniest shit I ever heard in my life, man. For Rick Ayers, man. Shout out to my homeboy Rick, man. I love you, guys. Shout out to Rick. Rest in peace. Shout out to That's Rick. Cool. Yeah. Rest in peace, man. Thank you for that, man. Thank you for that, homie. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you. Take us out of here with wife, your words, Hank. And I'm gonna turn it over to Marcy. My wife in here knocking down these jalapeno bacon poppers. What up, what up, what up, Miss Norman? What up, Lisa? Yeah, she up Tell Lisa, Lisa said, what up? She ain't, even, she ain't even called in to the show, nigga. She keep coming in and knocking them <laughs> motherfuckers down two at a time. But, wow. hey, man, uh, hey, listen, man, I, this, this, is what I, this is what I live by, uh, G. Lou and, and, and Cousin Marcy. I live like this because at a time when I was, it was a time when I didn't care. Who was watching over me? Cause I was out there shooting that nigga, trying to kill that choke a nigga out to get some bread. I don't care. I let me see your pockets fat, and I ain't got no nothing on me. I'm gonna choke your ass. I'll take everything you got. But I don't do live like that no more. God watched over me doing all that when I was supposed to get twenty and thirty years in life. He was giving me threes and fours. So thank you, Lord Jesus, for that. I live life like God is watching. That's what you got to do. Because if you live life like God is watching, you get ready to take it. You be like, man, I ain't finna. So, you know, you reach your hand out. You're like, let me take. No, I ain't going to do that. God watching me right, right now. So, 
Yeah, so right. that part, man, please live life like God is watching you because he is. It ain't like he ain't watching. You got the answer for everything you're doing right now when you get mm-hmm. up here. He's going to be like, what was you mm-hmm. out there doing? He's going to be like, well, uh, no, he's like, no, I got it right here on paper, right here. Right, watch, watch, right. This movie video. watch this movie or video roll back on you. You're going to see your whole life. You're going to be like, oh, my God. And so there mm. it is here, man. That's how I do it. I'm going to live like God is watching because I did some messed up stuff. I got to go. I got to watch that again. That's going to be ugly. Ooh, that's going to be ugly. That's going to mm. be ugly. Ooh, that's going to be ugly. You got to watch it. He's going to show you everything you did, everything you said. I think it's even every. I heard everything you thought. Even the bad stuff that you thought about, he know about. Wow, that's crazy. Ooh, that made me. <laughs> Ooh, that's cold, oh, man. Wow. So just, just live life like God is watching you, man. I promise you that in years. It's that part, so Deacon Norman, y'all. Uh, that's cool. Cousin Marcy. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right, y'all. My my alarm was going off the daggone dog, but that was some powerful words. Deacon Norman, thank you so much. Dilu, Queen, you. we miss you. And all I want to tell Queen, the people I did still this. I stole this from Queen of the Jilu um, page today. It says, don't look for God in the sky. Search for his presence within your heart. So Mm. that's what I want to leave the people with. Thank you for listening and being here with us. Don't forget to check out the After Hours at 930 on YouTube. Mm. Mr. Jilu will be there with his audience. So get in there fast. Grab your tickets because it gets crowded and you want to get your request in, he does take requests. Smash that like and subscribe when you get there. And have a good week, everyone. That's it. Cousin Marcy. Cousin Marcy. <laughs> G. Hank, G. Lou, I just want to leave you with the famous words that I always do. Seven days without prayer mm-hmm. makes mm-hmm. one week. W-E-A-K. Just remember that, okay? Right. We love y'all. We out of here. Cousin Marcy, G. Lou, G. Hank, thank you. Love y'all. We out. Peace. We are peace.